Are you brand new to video content and know nothing about editing? And let's face it, you don't have the time to figure out editing and watch hour after hour of editing tutorial. You just want editing to be super simple and easy so you can get your video content out there. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my easy video editing tips for beginners. Hey guys, my name is Trina and welcome to another episode of Just The Tips. If you are new to this channel and you wanna continue learning more about YouTube and video and your business strategy, make sure you click that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out. I wanna hear from you on what video editing software you're struggling with. Is it iMovie? Is it Windows Movie Maker? Is it Adobe? Is it Final Cut Pro? Let me know what editing software you're currently using down in the description box below. I started out with iMovie and I recently upgraded to Final Cut Pro. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you my easy editing tips for iMovie. You can also incorporate these same tips for any other software that you're using because it's a general tip that you can use in editing. I know one of the biggest hurdles when it comes to video content is editing. And I wanna address this issue first before I show you my tips on my computer. I think a lot of people get wrapped up in having this super professional video. They want their business to be professional and so they need their videos to be professional. So we're looking at people who have been doing video and have built their business and they're spending thousands of dollars on video production. They have sound stages, they have multiple cameramen, and they have an editing team. But if you're just starting your business and you're trying to build your authority to get to that level, you need to work with what you have. And if you are the only one that can do the editing and you can only afford to pay yourself to do the editing, you have to accept that. You can't not create video because you don't have the perfect system or the perfect soundstage or editing. You need to get your content out there. So my biggest advice to you is just get started and don't get so hung up on the editing and making editing super crazy. I keep my editing super simple. As you notice, I just have jump cuts. I don't have like fancy flying in images or text. I keep it simple because I do all my editing. I don't have the resources to spend lots of time editing my video. I'm focusing on creating strong, valuable content for you so that you can take what I share and implement it in your business. I'm not worried about creating an overly produced video. I want you to be able to take my content and implement. And it seems to be working for me. I get new video views, new YouTube subscribers, and new email subscribers every day from my simply edited videos here on YouTube. Now let me show you some simple video editing tips that you can use for your videos. So the first thing I do when I pull up iMovie is I go to create new. From here I'm gonna create a movie and I'm gonna import my media. My current file that I am editing is on my camera card. I find the file that I want and I'm gonna select import selected. <laughs> then I also record on a separate device on my Yeti microphone. So I'm gonna to need to pull in that file as well. So I'll go back up to this arrow and I know my audio file is on my desktop, YouTube Live, and I'm gonna import that as well. The next thing I do is I grab this video file, drag it down here to this bottom box, and then I'll also do the same to this audio file. Now to be able to see this a little bit better, what I'm gonna do is Command Plus, and it zooms in. And the reason why I'm zooming in is because I wanna see these audio waves right here so that I can sync the audio file with the video file. So I need to find where I start. So you see there's all this extra space here that before the audio starts. So what I wanna do is make sure that the audio file is selected. Um, the yellow is highlighting this file. And then I wanna hit Command, the Command button on your keyboard, and the letter B as in Ball. And that's gonna split this clip. And all you can do is click this extra stuff where there's no audio and hit Delete. So then you wanna just start lining up the sound waves so that they look familiar. And what I do is I just play it by ear and listen. This tutorial comes. So you can hear there's somewhat of an echo, so I'm just move this a little bit, grab that arrow and have this line and try to line up the peaks in the sound wave and then listen again. This tutorial comes highly requested from a Still a bit of an echo, so I'll just keep uh, messing with this until it sounds good. So that sounds good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clip the video file by highlighting it, command B as in ball, and then go down here and do the same thing, command B as in ball, delete this. This tutorial comes highly 
and so we're good with that. So now I'm gonna go to this video file and turn off the audio there since I have a separate audio file. So what I do is I hover my mouse over here till you get these double arrows, click on it, and pull the volume down to 0%. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out by hitting Command minus button, and I wanna get rid of these peaks in the audio because that usually tends to show some cracking in the audio file, and so I want everything to be below this particular line right here. So I'm gonna highlight the audio file, go up to the volume button up here, and I'm just gonna start lowering the audio. You see it's at 100% right now. I'm gonna adjust it maybe to like 80. And you can see I still have some yellow peaks, so I'm gonna go down a little bit more. We'll make it 60%. And then I'm just gonna listen to it to see if it sounds good or if it sounds too low. So I think that's good. I'm getting all of this correction done first before I start splicing up the clips because um, it's easier to do one entire clip than a bunch of little clips. The next thing I'll do is highlight the video file and just do minimal correction to this. With iMovie, there's not a lot of options to correct the video lighting as much as there is in Final Cut Pro. So what I'm just gonna do is go up here, I'm gonna click the paint button and you can increase the brightening. You can also saturate it a bit. And then I'm also going to give it just a little bit of a cool tone and just kind of see what that looks this like. This tutorial comes highly requested from a lot of you. So I think that looks all right. I don't mess a whole lot with this, um, especially in iMovie because there's not a lot of options. So I think I'm gonna maybe pull down the saturation a bit. I don't think that's good. And that's basically all I do to correct the video file. There's not a lot of options here in iMovie, so I just keep it simple. Don't mess with it. Don't get hung up on it. Remember, we're keeping our editing simple. So now the next thing I do is I go to the beginning of the file and I hit spacebar to play and just start cutting out all the things that I don't want. This tutorial comes highly requested from a lot of you. So I'm gonna hit space to stop again. What I do is I hit Command B, Command B. In today's video, I'm gonna zoom in a bit, come back here, Command B, Command B. Cut this space out. You see where I'm looking down and blinking. Go ahead and cut that out, and here we go. From a lot of you. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use YouTube Live Oh, and now I messed up, so I'm gonna go back. Command B as in ball, Command B as in ball, delete, listen again. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use YouTube Live. Mess up again, so see, I do mess up. What you see in my final videos is not me recording one long video clip. I repeat my lines, I mess up, I go over it again, and what I just do is I just go over through here, Command B, Command B, delete all of my mistakes, and that's how I edit my videos. Now I know some of you have talked about adding titles, so what you can do for that is go up to the title up here. Okay, so say you want this text up here, it's gonna show you what it looks like, or maybe this text. So let's go ahead and I'm just gonna show you an, an example. I'm gonna pull it in here. I want to change the title. So I'm gonna have YouTube Live Tutorial. Now you want the text to resemble your brand. So this is not my brand font. I'm gonna highlight this. I'm gonna go up here to font change it to my font. If your font isn't listed, you can go to show fonts and go into deeper with more fonts available. And then just make sure it's highlighted if you wanna change the typeface and the size. So highlight again, I'm gonna click medium and let's just say we're gonna make it size 100, okay? Let me close out of that. You can also change where you want it to be, to the left, to the right, center. You can make it bold, make it italic. You can also make the text outlined and you can also change the color of the text. So my text color is generally this gold or a black. Um, you can turn off that highlight again, make it an italic. And so now this is what your font looks like. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Trina. If you if you want this to be longer, you can pull it out so that it's longer. And that's how you can add text. You can move this around. So you want it to go down here. Welcome back to another episode of Just the Tips. If you 
there's a whole bunch of different options here for text. So if you are doing an overlay of your social media account, so what I do is I go up here to import and I have my own social media for YouTube that I wanna enter. So I'm gonna import that. And what I do is I go ahead and grab this, pull it down to lay on top of my video. And then you wanna make sure your cursor is over this particular image. So then you wanna to go to um, your image and you wanna go up to this square button right here and select picture in picture. That way your text is showing up on the video file. And then you can go ahead and grab this wherever you want it to be and minimize it if you want. Put it down here in the corner. So now when your video plays, that text is going to show up. And how you can use YouTube Live so people can see where my Instagram account is and where my Facebook account is. So if you want this to go through your whole video, you can always just take it and drag it as far out to the whole video. The text will still show up alongside of that image, so it will look like this. Trina, welcome back to another episode of Just the Tips. Just remember, you won't be able to put another image on top of this image. Uh, iMovie allows you only one image. And that's basically how I edit. I keep it very simple. I just go through here and cut out my mistakes uh, where I take a pause. And that's how you can do it simple, guys. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, you share it, and leave me a comment. Which part was your favorite? And don't forget, if you want to continue learning more tips and strategies from me on how you can use YouTube and video in your business, click that little picture of me so that you're subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.